Well, it appears the pandemic is pushing more city dwellers to move to the country. That and a report at Study Finds. Be sure to like and subscribe below. This doesn't surprise me, I suppose, but don't city up my country, as they say. <laughs> Leave your doodads and gizmos and, and what's it's in the city. Especially those cars with the speakers so big it shakes the rust off your car, you know. <laughs> I think it makes you sterile, too. Well, I might have made that last part up, but you, it's best to be careful. <laughs> Seriously, I'm a fan of living in the sticks. Now, if I could be another three hours outside of DFW, <laughs> that would be awesome. Let's see what the study says here. A new survey of 2,000 adults with half living in urban or suburban areas and the rest living in rural communities finds that 18% who currently live in a rural setting relocated from a city or suburb since the pandemic started. <laughs> I guess technically I'm in a suburb, but here in Texas, we do have a lot of acreage not far from town, so it feels like I'm in the country. That's my backyard right there. So, pretty country. Urban and suburban residents were more interested in learning about obtaining a sustainable lifestyle than their rural counterparts, too, at 77% versus 57%, respectively. Of those trying to be a little more sustainable, about half of those folks reduced food waste using reusable household materials or use paper alternatives instead of plastic. 79% believe having a green thumb is a necessary survival skill. That may be why 42% of Americans began growing their own produce and 31% are interested in raising livestock. Wow, we've got a guy raising cows right behind our house. There's a picture of those guys too. We do grow a lot of herbs and some veggies. We've done that for a while. No, not the devil's lettuce, not that kind of herb. I mean the folk song, you know, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme, that one. <laughs> Here's the kicker. Of the 69% of urban and suburban folks who would prefer to live in the rural areas, 61% say it's because it's more peaceful. 49% say it's less stressful. You know, that's kind of the same thing, I think. And 45% say the cost of living is lower, and that much is certain. Now, if you have the wrong neighbor and no HOA, being in the country can be a real pain in the ass. Now, trust me. Even if the guy a quarter mile down the road decides he's going to have a junkyard in his front yard, <laughs> hey, that rhymed, you could be screwed, so be careful. We're lucky. We still have an HOA out here in the country. When it comes to getting off the grid, as they say, 54% think it's expensive to live sustainably, with the average person estimating the lifestyle costs about 11000 more a year. 71% also believe that having a large yard is mandatory to live sustainably and most wish their home had a bigger green space. Well, that is why we moved further away. The thing is, you can start small. You can garden in pots like we do or even have them in your house or on a countertop. You know, the herbs and those kinds of things grow really well inside. We have a lot more info on this and other studies at our website. Just click in the link in the description below and head over to studyvines.com.